Here's the Echo Show 15 second generation. This will also work for the Echo Show 21. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Now I'm just going to show you how to set this up, not install the, uh, the bracket. So here's the remote. We have the batteries right here. I'll put that to the side. We have the AC power cord here, and we're going to plug it into the back of the Echo Show here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here. Other than I'm going to put it into my wall socket. So I just plugged it in, now it's turning on. After a few minutes, you should get here to choose your language, but we're gonna go ahead and put in our batteries now for the remotes. Just remember you put it in correctly. So the batteries in the remote, it's not gonna work yet, but we're gonna continue on here. So choose your language, I'm gonna go with English here, and then tap on continue. Hello. So I bought this Echo Show from Amazon, and when you buy Amazon through your account, uh, by default, they check the link on the bottom where it saves like your Wi-Fi and your password and things like that. So if your name is on here, then you can agree to continue. If it's not, you have to click on no, and you have a couple more additional steps. But for myself, I'm gonna go back. So I chose that it wasn't me. So you basically just have a few more extra steps. So I'm gonna start from the beginning here. So first thing is I have to create a new account or put in my username and password for my Amazon account. Once you put in your username and your password for Amazon, then tap on sign in. Okay, so now I found my username and password to my Amazon. I'm gonna tap on agree and continue there. So show 15 device will be updated later software. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on install now. This will restart twice. It's restarting again. First things first, Alexa is designed to protect your privacy and you can always learn more if you go to this site right here on Amazon. I'm gonna tap on continue. Now for here, you wanna choose an address if you already have one in there or you can go ahead and make a different address. So basically, if you get this will give your local weather, traffic and more, okay? Choose your time zone. I'm in Pacific, Los Angeles. So I'm gonna to go to Pacific there. Tap on continue. Where's your show gonna be located? You can choose one of these or you can make your custom name. For me, I'll just go with kitchen and then I'm going to continue. Choose a photo display. You can choose your photos or you can go the ones that Amazon has. I'm just going to go with the ones Amazon has over here and I'll just choose one. I'll just go with nature. There's more on here and I'll tap on continue. Here you can set up uh, profiles for each of your family members and Alexa can keep track all of it. You can do this now or you can do it later. For me I'm just going to do it another time so I'll tap on later. Now this is kind of important, okay? Echo Show can help you monitor your home, okay? You got the camera on right here. You can turn it off or you can turn it on right there. It says, allow members of your household to live stream this Echo camera anytime, anywhere through the Alexa app and connected devices such as your Echo Show. An indicator light will appear when someone in your household is streaming on your camera, okay? So you can enable that now, or you can do not now. I'm gonna do not now, and I'll do it another time. You wanna make this uh, child friendly with Amazon Kids, up to you. For me, I'll click on no. And even if you go no, you can set it up later as well if you wish. And here's some free trials, you can read through this. For me, I'm gonna go no thanks. So now we're here and we're gonna set up the Fire TV experience just so we can pair the remote on here as well. So I'm gonna tap on start right there. And then you can choose your streaming services. You can do it now, you can always do it later as well. Or you can just pick some of them that you have. All right, I'll just do that one and I'll do YouTube and I'll go with continue. Yeah, that's fine for now. Parental controls for Tire TV, you can enable it or you can go with no. I'm going to go with no parental controls, but if you want to enable it, you can always do it later as well. So now we're going to pair the remote. We already have the batteries in here. So now we have to press and hold the home button, okay? So it'll be the home button right here for like 10 seconds. I'm going to press and hold. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Hey, there you go. Discovered Fire TV remote. Let's go ahead and tap on connect. Oh, it says connected. 
and you have additional settings here or you can do remind me later and do it later as well i'm just going to click on remind me later and there we go looks like we're in business and your remote should be working as well and you can use the touch screen too anyway there you go pretty simple